Hello nerds! Thank you for watching Generally Nerdy. This is your Week in Nerddom Gaming Edition for the week of May 7th, 2018. It's gonna be a short and sweet one, guys, so let's get the intro real quick. Quiet on the set, rolling. Hi, I am Bitsy Tellick. Hey, I'm Hale Appleman. I'm Walter Kane. I'm Rene Aubergenois. Odo on Deep Space Nine. Michael Dorn, Lieutenant Commander of War, Star Trek The Next Generation. Uh, come and see me and hear me and talk to me and listen to me talk about myself. Hey man, this is Kevin Smith, often considered generally nerdy, and you are listening to what is often considered generally nerdy. On Generally Nerdy. You're listening to... Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. Generally Nerdy. First up on the list for gaming, man, we're talking about the one of the best Star Wars games ever in the history of the Star Wars games, the Star Wars Pod Racer game. Yes, the one for the Nintendo 64 is coming back to the uh, PC. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be Mac or Linux, so sorry for you Mac and Linux types, but uh, if we get that announcement, I will definitely let you know. But right now, GOG.com uh, is it's a new website. There, It's going to be a little different than Steam, it sounds like, but they're bringing back actually a series of uh, the, the Star Wars games. But the most noteworthy is the Podracer game because it was so incredibly awesome. This is one of not just the best Star Wars games ever, it is easily one of the best racing games ever. Um, normally it will cost you about 10 bucks on the website, but right now for the launch of the website they're doing a discount of 15%, so it's like just shy of nine bucks. So that's an incredible deal. I feel like the Nintendo 64 version if you were to find it now at, at a retro gaming place, it would be a little bit more than 10 bucks because it is such a classic. So that's incredible. Go, go do that right now. Right now. <laughs> GOG.com is the place to do that. And they have how it all works and everything right there on the website. So link in the description. Go play some Star Wars Pod Racer. Next on the list, we got some more interesting information about Soul Calibur 6. Um, Amazon Italy might have just done a naughty. They put on the website the, that the release date for the game is September 27th of this year. We knew it was coming out this year, um, we just didn't know exactly when. Since the error has been caught, it is now the obvious placeholder of December 31st, 2018 um, because they have just said sometime this year. They haven't said a specific date. So maybe Amazon Italy misheard or somebody typed the wrong date is potentially possible. I feel like what's slightly more possible is that that is the actual release date and they didn't realize that they posted it. But the other weird thing about this is that is a Thursday. Games come out on Tuesday, but it is in Italy, so maybe it'll take it an extra two days for shipping and such. Um, so uh, potentially it could be even the 25th of, de of September. So uh, it's super grain of salt. This is not a thing to, to actually write down on your calendars just yet, but... For you fighting game enthusiasts, and specifically you Soul Calibur enthusiasts, I feel like September is going to be a pretty safe bet for us to see this game. And then next, and this is our last bit of news, like I said, short and sweet, but this has to do with two games. Um, they're going... <clears throat> E3. <laughs> Let's step back slightly. E3 is happening in less than a month. Um... We haven't heard anything from Rockstar for a little while. Or Rocksteady, not Rockstar. Rockstar is doing Red Dead Redemption. Uh, let's, let's, Rocksteady, the, the company that gave us the really epic Batman Arkham series, they've been relatively quiet recently. Um, there have been rumors since the Batman series came to a close that their next project was going to be either Superman or Nightwing or Robin of some sort. Uh, well, according to 4chan, so take with this, uh, take this with a giant grain of salt, um, Rocksteady is going to announce either slightly before or at E3 their Superman game, 
that they're making in the vein of those Arkham games. It's obviously going to play slightly different because Superman is a pretty different superhero from Batman, but that's still awesome because those are probably, aside from Mortal Kombat, the only games I've loved, well, Mortal Kombat and Fallout, <laughs> the only games I've super actually loved in the last decade are those uh, Batman Arkham games. So I'm, if this is for real, I'm, I am, I am beyond excited. And according to 4chan, so again, grain of salt, uh, this is going to be the precursor for a Justice League game in the same vein. So they're not done with Batman necessarily. Um, this would explain they recent the fact that they recently posted a job, a hire a hiring thing. They're they're looking to hire somebody to focus on a multiplayer game, um, heavily focused on multiplayer. It would make sense that the Justice League would be a multiplayer game. So how, now let me picture this, if you will. The Batman Arkham style gameplay in a multiplayer online format. So you and four buddies, or however many of the Justice League they decide to put in the game, could potentially play that kind of game together. And how would the mechanics work? I'm, I'm, I'm passing this off to you guys. Should this be real news, should this be an actual thing that's going to happen, what do you expect out of not only a Superman game, but a Justice League game from the same people that brought us Batman Arkham Asylum and Arkham City and Arkham Knight, even though Arkham Knight was probably the weakest entry in the, of the three. So, uh, I yeah, there is so much to unpack here. Let's talk about that down in the uh, comments section. And that is the end of the episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching all the way to the end. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe button. If you like the episode, click the like button. And, and don't forget, down below in those comments, what did I miss? What should we talk about next week? Let me know in the comments down below. If, though, you want to go deeper in the conversation, jump over to the website, generallynerdy.net. It's the place you can do that. Get your nerdy swag. Or you can support the channel a little more directly over on Patreon, patreon.com slash generally nerdy. There are multiple tiers. It's all laid out on patreon.com slash generally nerdy. If you are falling behind on your nerd news and you want to catch up, click or tap that box right there to the left of my face to do that, or the box above it, you know, something else on the channel, something that's not nerd news. But before we go clicking boxes and pushing buttons and visiting websites, guys, please always Always remember that if it's generally nerdy, it's probably here.